Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we have some more eBay finds, but I'm a little bit excited about this one, uh, as I do know that one of these parcels actually has some very vintage Pokemon in them, including some very nice original hollows. Um, so this packet here, this is the one that has the vintage hollows and stuff in. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about how it's arrived. As you can see, it's not in the best condition. What it feels like is the cards are just simply stored in plastic sleeves. Um, it doesn't feel like there's a great deal of protection in, so fingers crossed the cards haven't been too damaged. Um, and then there's this one here, which was somebody's, by the looks of it, all sort of bundle collection. Uh, now this one here, I paid £29 for. Let me just pop that open. Try hopefully not cut through anything. Um, now, they didn't exactly have all of the rares on display, um, but it did look like, from what I could see, that there were some very nice rares there. Uh, I could see the borders of some rares and things like that, so I'm hoping that there are some nice GXs and EXs in there. So to begin with, we get this little, I think it's a badge collection. Yeah, I'm not sure what region that is, but we get some nice badges there for the gym badges. Uh, we've got a couple of large jumbo cards. So we've got the Venusaur EX, Mewtwo EX, Garchomp EX, Crocodile EX, and the Flygon EX. So hopefully that gives us an idea of what might be in there. Uh, we have a binder here, which seems to be full of Pokemon cards. I think what we'll do is we'll go through that last. And we also have a tin here. As you can see, very nice tin with lots of sort of jumbo, not jumbo, sorry, uh, random cards. So what we'll do is take the first lot out. See, so yeah, I can already see some nice rares there at the back. So fingers crossed, we have some nice cards. <laughs> we do have a few fakes in here though, by the looks of it. That is most definitely a fake card. So get rid of that, that's worthless. Right, let's have a look. Now I do apologize if some of these are upside down. Reverse energy lotto, gamble, maintenance. Hello, Toga Demero, promo, SM09, Wubat, another holo, Bishop, not bad, uh, reverse energy, uh, another holo, Linton, so we're getting quite a lot of hollows here, that's good, you can see I think I paid £29 in total for this auction, so... I'm already quite happy with some of the stuff that we're getting. Got one Center Lady, a little in Persian, reverse, a reverse Poliwhirl, a little in Duke Trio, hollow. A Zapdos from Roaring Skies, I believe that is, hollow. That's a Shattered Foil, so I think that's come out of a trainer kit. It's quite damaged along the edge there. Got reverses. Nice hollow Kangaskhan there. Wally, Dragonair, Popplio, Shelder, Energies. That's a fake card. Get rid of that. Auto, Beer Pong. I'm a little bit worried about some of the fakes in here. Yeah, that could mean some of the better cards are actually fake as well. It's a fake card. Zero, Crocodile, all the energies, Psyduck, is that real? Yeah, it's real. Ugh, fake Venusaur, no good. Blue Grubbin, Energy, Surskit, Eva Soda, Energy. What else we got? So this has obviously been some kids collection, I'm assuming. Um, he probably traded some of his nice cards away for some of them uh, fakes. Hopefully not. Termination. Faded Town. Dome. Helix Fossil. Switch. Pokemon Fan Club. Durat. Anarif. Staryu. Fake Espeon GX. Probably some of the worst fakes I've seen as well. 
Oregon, Togedamaru, Sensual Energy, Tentacle, a really terrible fake Diglett, fake Mega Charizard, that's not looking good guys, Fero, Ponyta, Onyx, sorry a fake card, Moogus, See, this is always the problem when you're buying on eBay auctions, especially when you can't necessarily see all of the cards. Very fake slow, bro. Uh, what do we have? A fake Deoxys EX. A fake Ashes Greninja. A fake Halucha. Is that real? No, a fake uh, Vaporeon EX. A fake Umbreon EX, a real Delphox Brick, a fake Yveltal EX, a fake Reshiram EX, a, is that real? No, that's also a fake, and that's also a fake. So we're getting a lot of fakes here on the uh, Ultra Res, which is not good. So all of those nice cards where I could only see the border, obviously set there as a bit of a catch just to try and get you to spend a bit extra, which obviously I fell right into that. So we got a strong energy. I mean, there's still a lot of bulk here, so there's still quite a bit of value in the bulk. That's good. Uh, we are getting a fair few sort of, as I say, hollows and stuff like that as well, which is good. Uh, Scatterbug. Drowsy, Strong Energy, Switch, Tierno, Energy Pouch, Tierno, Steeny, Rotom, Sandy Gast, Fiegel, and Persian. I don't understand why people like fake the commons and uncommons as well. Seems a little bit daft. I can understand obviously faking ultra rares and things, but commons and uncommons are fairly easy to get a hold of. Fake Pelipper, Brion, Snorun, Little Leo, Quagsire, Zedu, Pelipper, Gramble, Magheeta. We've got Growlithe, Stufflu, Poliwag, Hypno, Baltoy, Shuckle, Baltop, Lotad, Fake Litten. It'll be Clific, Scraggy, Oddish, Energy, Whimsicott, Cool Energies, Rattata, Growlithe, Grimer, Grubbin, Skarmory, Aksu, just a lot more. Ooh, nice shiny Gyarados there. Get the camera to focus a little bit. There we go. XY109. Some more reverse hollows. And another shiny. So there seems to be a lot of shiny promos in here. XY140. Cario. So we're nearly getting to the bottom of this tin here. And we've got a lot more energies. Toucan. Just flick through these a bit quicker. Skarmory. Level ball. Nothing major. There's a few rares in there. Fake Thunderous EX. Fake Incineroar. Fake Mega Requaza. These are terrible fakes as well. Not even any shine to them. There's a bunch of fakes. Get rid of those. Fake. Fake. So hopefully this shows you the risk of buying eBay cards. Some more fakes. Yeah, bunch of fakes there. And the last of this tin. Grimer, Drowsy, Cutie Fly, and there. 
too bad. Now, I probably have missed a couple of fakes as I've been going through this, so I will go back through the pile later in my own time and pull out the ones that I can tell a fake. Okay. At least that one's got a bit shine to it. Fakes. Dragonite fake. So yeah, pretty much all of the ultra rares seem to be fake unfortunately. So I might have actually lost out on this one guys. Not to worry. Hopefully there's a, a few cards in the bulk that I actually need for my collection so it's not a complete waste. A few of the uh, hollows and stuff like that I definitely need, so that's not so bad. So that is the bulk of the tin. So from the tin, let's just have a little recap. We have a hollow Lucario promo. Closer. We have a Mega Gyarados, not a Mega Gyarados, sorry, a regular Gyarados. We have a Delphox Break. Kangaskhan, Zapdos, Nololan Duck Trio, a Weezing, two Littons, a Bishop, and a Togedemaru. So, fingers crossed, we have something nice in this file. So what I'll do is I'll have a little flick through, see what we can find. So let's just see. So we've got a Moltres up there, nice rare. Um, there's actually a couple of cards behind these as well. Okay, so what the guy's done is he's put his evolutions behind. So we've got actually a a Hollow Zorark there. Condition's not too great. Um, nothing behind those. That's a fake card. Don't know why that's in there. We'll get rid of that. And um, we have another hollow bishop here. There's nothing on the backs of them, so they're just singled up. Uh, a couple of fakes at the top here. We'll get rid of those. I'm quite sure how I didn't spot those on the pictures, but there we go. Maybe he didn't have that page on display. So nothing major on that one to see. Oh, that nice little rare chestnut, I think I'm missing that, that's a hollow. Focus for you guys. That's actually in quite nice condition. Um, we don't have anything major on here by the looks of it, no, there's no cards behind there. Quite damaged Rhyperia there. Uh, we've got a fake Abominable up here. Get rid of that. Mm, nothing major on there. A couple of rares, maybe. Licky licky. Inferno. Pikachu. Nice reverse hollow Nidder King there. There's a card actually behind this one. It's just a plain Nidder Run. And we've got a shiny Luxray up here, which actually is the Shattered Foil version. So again, it's come out of a trainer pack. Add that to our hits for the recap. Now go back now the other ones in a second. Uh, nice rare Metacross there. Oh, now we're at the backs of the cards. Switch over to this side. So Shed Ninja, nothing major there. New Blade, Hon Edge, Swablu. We've got Nothing major there. Glamour, Perugly, again, nothing rare. Cards don't seem to be in too bad condition, the ones in the file, so that's good. Um, again, a couple of reverses, but nothing major. Gouda. Espion, Gumi, no, nothing, nothing huge there. Um, Walrin, 
reverse rare there, that's not too bad. Okay, you can have a fake Alolan and Diglett. And a fake Altaria mm. up the top here. Take that out. A reverse Butterfree rare, not too bad. A reverse Machamp rare down here. Um, but beyond that, just a couple of commons and uncommons. And we have, what have we got? Nothing really there. Nothing really major there. And last but not least, nothing major there. So that one seems to be a bit of a bust, guys. Um, we didn't get anything huge out of there. We got a few hollow rares. Um, all of the ultra rares were all fakes, unfortunately. Um, I don't think it's too big a loss because, as I say, there was quite a bit of bulk there, which seems to be all genuine bulk. Um, but yeah, as a whole, not overly great. Okay, that's all right over there as well. So we got a file there with a few cards in, and maybe 60, 70 cards. Got a lot of bulk, as you can see from that. Quite a bit of bulk there with a few reverses in, so that's not too bad. Put that to one side. Um, our hits out of that were really just the hollows. So Zorog, Bisharp, Chestnut, Luxray, Togodomaru, another Bisharp. Two Littons, Weezing, Dugtrio, Zapdos, Kangaskhan, Delphox Break, Gyarados, and the Lucario. And then we got our badges and a couple of the Jumbos. So the only thing I can assume is the guys probably saw the Ultra Rare separate um, and kept this large bundle of fakes. Uh, that energy was actually genuine, not that I care. Uh, so yeah, they're all rubbish. Get rid of those. Now the one I'm most excited for is this one, guys. As I say, hopefully it hasn't been too damaged in the post. Because uh, it doesn't seem to be the best packaging job. But this should con uh, contain a few sleeves full of the old original Pokemon cards. And I actually picked this up very cheap. I got this for a total of four pound and the cards didn't look too bad but looking at them a bit closer they're not overly great but they're in decent condition so we start off with a base set Magikarp, Rhydon, Dodrio we then have a Gloom, Weeping Bell, on the star, Team Rocket's Magikarp Ghastly, Arcanine, Nidorina, Butterfree, and a Magma. Now the only thing with these is, is it's, it's very hard to tell on eBay as to whether or not the cards are the non-holo version or the holo version. Uh, especially from distance, unless the picture's up close, it's very difficult to tell. So I'm hoping the cards that I saw are actually the holo variants and not the non-holo variant. Persian, Kuna. Farfetch from Basic 2, Arbok, Primeape, Rabidash, Tentacruel, Parasect, Hunter from Basic 2, Ivysaur, Taurus, and a Growlithe. Then have a Impostor's Professor Oak, Item Finder, very scabby looking computer search. Super Energy, a rare Cypher with a slight crease down the middle there. Not too bad, but a slight crease nonetheless. Magma, a Marowak, a Raticate, Kadabra, a non hollow Lapras, shame, a Golduck, a War Turtle, and a Machoke. And we've got a couple of Japanese cards here as well. Um, so we've got an English Gambler, Energy Removal, Recycle, Goop Gas Attack, 
and then some Japanese beer set and fossil and jungle cards. Uh, so we've got a Japanese Taurus, a Magma, a Gulbat, a, energy, a trainer there, I think that's is that energy search, I don't remember now, a Jinx, a base set Squirtle, quite nice, Meowth, Dodrio, Machamp, another Squirtle, and a Rattata. And then you can see the old original Japanese backs. And then we have a Hollow First Edition Matcha, still sealed in its pack. Very nice. Unfortunately, it's not the Shadowless variant, but still a nice card nonetheless. In excellent condition, obviously, because it's still sealed. No creases or anything like that. Very good. We've got a Doug Trio. A non shiny ditto, unfortunately. We have a Lass, a Hollow Nine Tails, which is in very nice condition. A few little edges of whitening, but nothing serious. And no scratches at all, actually, that I can see on the front. So that's very good. We have a non hollow magneton from Fossil. We have a non hollow Honda, Nidder Queen, non hollow Muck, Pidgeotto, Electabuzz, a Graveler, Golem, Dark Machoke, Jinx, Porygon, Seeking, Spiro. Dratini, Golbat, Tangela, Oddish, Meowth, Machop, Metapod, and Shelter. A Pikachu, Meowth, Magamite, Drowsy, Ghastly, Charmander, Onyx. Pidgey, Machop, Zubat, Diglett, Mankey, Drowsy, Grimer, Geodude, Doduo. Some more Japanese cards, so Ghastly, Tentacruel, a Magikarp, Poliwhirl, Magma, and a trainer, which I can't remember the name of. Dugong, a Kadabra, Nidorino, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Dodrio, Vulpix, Starmie, and a Magnemite. And we've got some trainers here. So we've got a Digna, Digger, sorry, Energy Retrieval, Double Colorless, Professor Orc, Pokemon Flute, Pokemon Center, Challenge from Team Rocket, plus Power, Revive, Full Heal Energy, Potion Energy, Potion, Gust Wind, Sleep, Switch, Pokeball, and Bill. And then we've got some a Bulbasaur, Diglett Rocket, which actually has a card behind as well. That's a second Diglett. Dratini, Psyduck, Ekans, Coffin, Weedle, Bellsprout, Psyduck, Squirtle, Mankey, Paris, Pikachu, Ultbix, Magnemite, Star U, Execute. Yeah, Poliwag, Nidoran, Abra, Ponyta, Ponyta, Voltorb, Jigglypuff, Cubone, Sandshrew. And then we've got Rattata, Starmie, Coffin, Team Rockets, Rattata. Eevee, a Rocket's Eevee, Zubat, Imposter Orcs Revenge, Goldeen, and a few more Japanese cards to finish. So we've got Onyx, Anabra, Caterpie, Rattata, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Pikachu, Weedle, and then a Bill, I think, a Super Energy Removal, and a Potion. So that's it for that, guys. So we've got some nice original beer set and Team Rocket cards there. Obviously the two major ones now, obviously this isn't worth a great deal, however it is in nice condition. Uh, it's worth maybe a few pound. Uh, the reason for that is I believe they came in a trainer kit, so they were fairly common. And again, although this is a first edition, all my champs are first edition as you'll probably know. However, it is nice that it is still sealed in its pack, which probably adds a little bit extra to the value. 
uh, but this one will be going straight into my collection to replace the non-sealed one I currently have. So that's it for today guys. Uh, I think we did quite well on the vintage cards, not so well on the other bundle that we had because there were a lot of fakes in there. But you win some, you lose some when it comes to these EB auctions. Um, anyway, join me for the next video. I've got another EB auction and then coming shortly after that, I will have the three new uh, Hidden Fates tins. Uh, so hopefully we get some nice shiny pulls from that. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.